my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Look at her! I love it! That kind of scared me. I thought that was a big trout. <laughs> it's a white tail. Oh, there we go. <gasps> no, that was a freaking beast. Oh my God, and I screwed it up. I didn't hook, I didn't set the hook enough. Never, oh gosh, darn it, dang it. Okay, we're gonna continue this creek and hopefully have better luck. Gotcha! Holy crap! Oh my gosh. We've been working this one for so long. Because we lost it, it swiped and missed the first time. Oh my god! I might lose this. Oh, she caught the weeds. Oh my god! Holy cow! Holy cow. Oh my God, I'm so nervous. I can't believe how much we've been playing with this thing in the center. Okay, we gotta get her out real quick here. And a nice release. Put the rod up here. I can't believe how absolutely gorgeous this hen is. She is thick. I don't want to touch her very much and turn her around, but her back, like she is freaking absolutely solid. What a freaking tank. Man, she is gorgeous. I'm so freaking pumped. We've been working so hard and little creeks like this team, the weeds are so high. It's almost impossible to get into areas. We finally got into back there and that's how we got her. Casting about 30, 40, 50 times. I don't know, I lost track, but holy crap. It is worth it though when you snag them. Quick release you guys. Let her go right now. Look how thick she is. She is so nice. What a nice fish. Oh my gosh, she is just beautiful. What a strong fighter. It's just incredible. These fish, there's nothing else like them. If you guys look, your adipose fin is a full-blown one. It's not snipped, so this is a this is a stocked area, but they're reproducing as well. So this is a reproduced one. There she goes. Oh God, I don't want to let her go. She's just gonna stay right there. She's tired. Look at her. She's just gonna stay right there. It's absolutely insane. Okay, we're gonna leave her alone. We leave her right alone now and leave. We've been fishing 10 hours. That's the first fish. It's incredible. We've probably locked close to 10 miles today. Goes to show how hard they are to catch. It's insane. But we cast it in there. We lost. Well, it didn't quite hook up. So I kept finessing, 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 just getting it back between the weeds right here. We finally got it in right here because she first started off right here and then she swam back under and waited there. So we finally got a good cast. We rolled it in right in there. And she finally got it, but it's so hard to get your cast down pat without getting them snagged. And you can get them caught up, then you lose the fish. It is so freaking hard, but it is worth every second if you land that big old girl. The whole idea of this video is to showcase the little streams like this produce big trout. People don't think so because we're sitting in 12 inches of water just like this. They don't need much water to survive. But believe me when I tell you, there are big trout in little streams like this. It is absolutely underrated. This time of year is so hard. Like, look at the weeds. I'm 5'10". They are taller than me. So you gotta whack your way to the edge, try and find spots without weeds, and you gotta dip it in. But if you can, you can cast in a lot of places. So using the nine foot, or yeah, the nine foot fly helps a little bit in places like this, just to get the overhang. It's very difficult. <laughs> you pretty much gotta keep threading the needle. And you're gonna get a lot of weeds when you're coming back. You just gotta pick a spot with less weeds and hope you hit it and don't scare the fish and just let it drift or you can reel it in. 
whatever you want to do or strip it in sorry just keep playing with it and you know you only get so many chances too until you scare the fish too if you keep doing this so ideally you want to pick the best spot to start with and go from there and hopefully you hit it and don't screw it up super hard Ugh. Ugh. we got lots of weed trout though you guys definitely a big thing in here Oh, there he is. Whoa, right there. You see him take it. I'm going to get this guy in the reel. Oh, no. Snap me off. Oh, God, I was trying to switch to the reel and I got I got it way too tight there trying to reel it up and he snapped it off. That's 100% my fault. Dang it. He gone. Oh, gee whiz. Jeez, Cody. Oh, we got to lead her up again. Change a to another woolly bugger. We're gonna stick to black again. That's kind of my favorite. I always use naturals, blacks, olives, and the tans. Oh, there we go. Right there. Come here, beautiful. Nice brown. Nice brown. Yes. Okay, we're gonna be really quick here. Let him go. We're not keeping any today. What a nice princess. Look at her. Beautiful browns in here, you guys. Look at her. Oh, spit the hook. Perfect. Perfect. We don't even have to touch her then. I don't know if I got water on my GoPro. If I do, I apologize right now. Because she was blossoming pretty good. So just like that. And this is a spring fed, a spring fed creek. So what that means is it's super cold. So they should be biting a little bit longer throughout the day. Because temperatures are getting hotter right now. But this should be our benefit in creeks like this as well. There she goes, there she goes, there she goes. Look at her, look at her, look at her. They're magnificent out in here, you guys. Oh, there we go. Oh, what a nice one. I think it's a nice one. Nice brown. Oh, what a nice one. A nice, oh, it's about a 12 inch. Nice, healthy 12 inch. Looks pretty thick. Set my rod down real quick. What a beautiful specimen of life. Oh my God, guys. What a nice fish. We're gonna try and get her out easy and as quick as we can with the woolly bugger here. And if you can come early mornings, I prefer early mornings opposed to uh, evenings because the night cools off, it cools the water off, everything. So they're more prone, oh sorry about that. They're more prone to be biting in the morning, usually than the evening. Because temperature with trout really plays a big factor. And make sure if you wanna handle them, you can do it when it's cooler temperatures, it's a lot easier. But when it starts to be warmer, you gotta be really careful when you're handling them. But it is early in the morning, it's pretty cold. So just give her a few seconds in the net. Now this is the widest part of the creek we're in right now. It narrows right down and it gets way harder to fish. Look at her, look at her, look at her. Oh, she's so nice and red. I absolutely love brown trout. They are the best thing ever. Look at her go. Nice, good release. There she goes. Right into the weed bed. Did you see that? That's why when we're doing places like this, you gotta do the weed beds right on the edges. Cause like this thick stuff, they'll be right in there half the time waiting for bugs to go by. So never neglect places like that. I promise it'll help you catch more trout. And never be afraid to what we just did. Yes, there's weeds here and there, but you gotta be able to cast in there cause they'll be laying up under the weeds on the edges just like that. And if you get one and then just move into the weeds and try and land it in that area. But you gotta get little spots like this all the time. It's a little harder, I know, but trust me, it's worth it. We're casting on the edges still under the weeds. You hooked up right there. Well, actually the fish actually missed it. It hit it, but didn't get hooked up. And we didn't get a chance to get in that one. So we've been trying to catch it again, but I mean, it's probably long gone by now. So whenever that happens, if you snag a fish, you lose it. Honestly, the the chances of getting it again are very slim. So you're better off just to keep on moving. But I mean, I'm still always gonna try again, but I don't expect to actually get it. There he is. Oh my God, we actually probably got the same one right after I said that to you guys. Oh yes. Oh God, it was worth it. Come on, settle down girl. I'm just gonna let you go here. What a princess. Oh my gosh. I seen it in the GoPro. Yo, you guys maybe didn't see it, but she swam and missed it about two or three times. I'm surprised she went through like a fourth time. What a pretty fish. Okay, we're gonna get that hook out right now. Shit, some f***ing days, bro. Like, give me a break. Give me a break. How in the f*** does that even get on there? Like, honestly, give me a break. I'm just getting 
off, dude. For unnecessary things, too. I think those are lilies. That's beautiful. I don't know the last time I've seen them. We are definitely going to get some pictures of that. Oh my gosh. And this is one thing about being out here. We get to see some really cool freaking things. Sometimes I wonder if I get one in here. I'm like, look at the water I'm in. I could be three or four feet there. If I got to go out there to get this fish, I don't know. Sometimes I'm really second guessing places I should actually be in or not be in. seen me he swiped he missed right there he went right there it's got to be a 20 inch round trout holy cap this could be deep to be run right? oh. oh god oh my god i can't get out there oh my god it's big oh my god it's big we gotta drag it through the weeds or we're screwed we're not gonna be able to i gotta try and walk out Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't go any deeper. My shit's gonna get wet. My camera on my phone. Oh, we're probably gonna lose this. Holy cow. Holy cow. Oh my god. Oh man, the weeds, she might get lost in the weeds too. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, we got her. Holy cow. Oh my god, look at her, she's freaking massive. Look at her. Okay, we gotta keep her wet. I gotta get my rod out really quickly. I cannot believe we snuck around in here and got her. Holy cow. Hang on. Okay, rod, go back. Oh, she spit the woolly bugger? Oh my god, I'm so nervous. I'm shaking, we gotta get, it's, I gotta get set of the net there. Okay, we're good. Oh my god, this thing is massive. This is unbelievable. Okay, one picture, you guys. We have not had her out of the water yet. If we can hang on to her for a second. Oh my God, look at her red spots. She is massive. Absolutely massive. We gotta let her down. It's too bad I'm letting her go in the weeds. I don't really want to. But that's all I got. Oh, look at her back, how thick she is. Another wild one too. I cannot believe the trout in here. This spot, like it's, we're, we are miles. You guys, it's so hard to even explain where I'm at, but that's the only reason we're finding big ones is because we got to look and walk and walk and walk. And it is the funnest thing to do in the world. Oh, there she goes. There she goes, there she goes, there she goes. Oh my God, I'm so happy she went. Oh, it's always a good feeling. She took off right about in there. I can't get over the feeling when you when you hold them when they just kind of swim off and do their own thing. You know they're in good shape too. And these fish are absolutely so special. If you guys want to see more videos like this, click here or here. We got catching cooks. We got a bunch of different creek fishing videos. Hope you guys like them. See you next time, hopefully.